back to another video here on the channel. Today we've got the video you've been waiting for. This is the Ruger Wrangler. We've already reviewed it uh, just initially. Today we're going to actually shoot it. And we are going to compare it to uh, a Ruger Single 6. I've got an old 3 screw over here. And I've got a slightly more modern uh, with the uh, transfer bar. So uh, you're probably wondering why we're comparing this to a Ruger Single 6 when this really isn't a comparison to a Ruger Single 6. Uh, I had a Heritage Rough Rider. Uh, that's more of the same price point as what this is. And I never shot it because never wanted to. I had it for, I don't know, two, three years. And every time I went in my safe to get a gun, that was the furthest thing from my mind. So there's no point in comparing this to a gun that I don't want to shoot because this is a gun I do want to shoot. And I enjoy shooting the Single 6, so let's see how this compares to that, all right? We got one of those uh, orange balls down range, and let's see what this does. All right, well, I'll tell you what, it doesn't have a whole lot of recoil, but it's a 22, and we weren't expecting a 22 to have a lot of recoil. So that was nice. Uh, it might have been shooting a tad, tad bit high. We did hit it at least a few times. Um, unloading this is not as much of a pain as I thought that it was going to be, because if you recall from our original review, uh, this cylinder spins freely in both directions. It doesn't have the notches like what we do on our, uh, our single six. Uh, the hammer is a, a little bit more to pull back than what I would like to, a lot of pull on that. But uh, let's shoot this. This is a three screw. Let's shoot this one, okay? This is the one, uh, if you're not familiar with the three screw, this has the, the half cock, and in order to open up your, your door and uh, spin your cylinder, you gotta half cock it. Now, I tell you what, this one here is uh, not necessarily any different unloading it because we're always turning in the same direction. So I was worried about that one with the loading and unloading with the cylinder spinning both ways. This one obviously locks in the opposite direction. It only spins clockwise. Um, now, this has got the uh, like three-stage hammer because you got like, that little, um, I don't know what they call it, like a quarter cock, and then you've got your half cock, obviously, and then your full cock. So this one has a, a longer pull and a lot of notches. Not necessarily a longer pull, it just feels longer because you got all those different notches that you're cocking through. Uh, this one here, Definitely the smoothest, but I uh, don't like the six and a half inch barrel as much as I do the shorter barrel. So I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna load this one up again. We're gonna shoot it. Um, we got that ball down there. It's not doing a whole lot when we hit it. Plus I probably missed it a few times. You never know. Let's load this one back up again and let's uh, let's see what we think. Uh, I tell you what though. So far I'm thinking that uh, for two hundred dollars, not a bad gun at all. I tell you what, now that I went back to this one, uh, definitely harder to pull that hammer back. If you're going to shoot this a lot, you're going to either get a sore or a really strong thumb. Uh, but again, this is what this gun is new. This is the first time I'm shooting this one. Uh, these guns are quite a few years old, have you know thousands of rounds through them, so this hammer might loosen up some, but definitely uh, hard to pull this hammer back. So, But uh, this is a fun gun to shoot, and I'm going to definitely be shooting it some more. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching this channel. If... Uh, if you're visiting this for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe.